Hi guys, it's uh, Mike at Phase One, uh, aka DJ and Disco Stuff .com. Got a brand new product I would like to show you today. Now, unfortunately, I am being my own cameraman, so uh, you won't have to get a look at my ugly mush today. Um, this is the brand new Newmark Mix Deck. Now, this has a lot of claims. It claims it can read USB sticks. It's a twin CD player with a built-in mixer. It's an iPod dock. It's a MIDI controller. Uh, we can plug other things into it. It's got a lot of connectivity. I just want you to get a look at it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the film. And then I am going to uh, give a little bit of a demonstration. So uh, just looking at the front of the unit there. We have got a mic and headphone import. With EQ on the microphone as well. We've got a uh, curve adjustment and everything for the crossfader. There's a CD draw there. The CD draw there. It's coming to the top of the unit. You can see three channel mixer with an iPod dock. Um, coming around to the other side. Again, me being, being the only, uh, me own cameraman today. Right, coming to the back of the unit. Lots of connectivity on the back of there as well. We've got USB for the MIDI. We've got balanced output. We've got uh, plenty of auxiliaries in as well, so we can connect other CD players. Other, uh, we can actually connect decks in, so if you still like, want to play off decks. Um, so we've got, we've got plenty of connectivity there, we've got a record out, we've got a booth out as well. Um, first things I've got to say about this product, it seems to be very well thought out. Uh, so far very, very impressed. Uh, got it out of the box. Uh, I've installed the software onto the laptop in the shop. Uh, we're going to have a quick go and show you how we can flick from one um, format of uh, music, like from MIDI across to CD, then across to USB. How quick and easy that is to do, that's what we're going to do. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the film now. You've had a good look at it there. Uh, there is a flight case going to be available for this very, very shortly. It's it, The sliders on it feel good. Everything feels good about this. Well thought out piece of kit. Um, I think it's what we've been waiting for really. Um, so when I come back we'll be, uh, we'll be having a mix. Okay, cheers guys, thank you. Okay guys, so we're back uh, with the, the new Mark Mix Deck. Um, it's got a lot of claims this machine and so far they're all coming true which is great. Um, we're going to play loads of different formats and what I want to show you is how quickly we can go from one format to the other. Uh, we're going to play a CD, we're going to play from a USB memory stick, we're going to play something from an iPod and we're also going to play from a laptop using Traktor which incidentally is supplied with the unit. Um, what I would like to be able to show you is just how we can use these different sources. So firstly, uh, let's put a CD in. So we'll plug a CD, put, pop a CD into the drawer. Okay. Um, it's read the CD, press play, we get music. Um, CD player's got quite a few features. It's got effects in there. Um, we've got a flanger, a filter, an echo, a chop, a pan, uh, a phaser. So there's, there's quite a few effects in there. We're not going to go through the effects because you know we've, we've seen this sort of thing before. We want to see the new features to this deck. Uh, we've got a reverse. Um, we can change the parameters of your effects. We can change the wet and the dry as well. So everything's there that you would expect to be there on a, on a good quality CD player. Um, we've got a scratch. It's a touch sensitive platter. Right. So when we touch it, it stops. Right and. I don't know whether you can hear that, I'll just turn it up a little bit. Right, so we can pitch bend. It's got a key lock as well, we'll put the key lock on. Right, so we can pitch bend. It's got a really nice feel to it, this wheel. It doesn't, it's not a cheap plasticky thing. It feels quite weirdy, quite solid, uh, quite well built. Like the rest of the unit, we found, I, I found that the faders um, are really smooth. You know, they haven't scrimped and scraped. I always find sometimes, you know, they come out and bring these products and they'll, they'll scrimp on one bit and they'll be like, oh, the lacrosse fade is not very good. But on this, I've got to say, the general feel to it is it feels like a really good quality piece of kit. Um, right, so we can play a CD. Uh, what I would like to do now is we'd like to play something from a USB stick. So I've just got a bit of music on here. And what we'll do is we'll go across to the second deck. We'll leave that CD playing there. 
uh, and I'm just going to plug this in. I'm going to select a sauce. In this instance, I know you can't see what it says on the screen, but I can choose which sauce I want to play. Do I want to play a CD? Do I want to play a MIDI via the computer? Or do I want to play uh, from the USB stick? So going to the USB stick, uh, I'll select that. Right, it's going to scan the device, find the tracks on there for us. Um, just wait for that a second. Right, we've got some tracks on there. I'll flip to the third track uh, and it's ready to play. So what we'll do is we'll just turn the volume down on this one. And here we go. Again, we've got all the functionality that we had from the CD player over here on the USB. So I, I can still use all the effects okay. to scratch. It's still working. All the pitch, range, the loops. Um, everything is going to work like it did when it was on playing a CD. So I've got USB here, CD over here, and you know, vice versa. I can put the USB stick over here. There's no, you know, that's for that and that's for that. This whole thing, you know, this side plays CDs in USB. This side plays CDs in USB. Um, what we've got in the middle is channel three, which is for the iPod. Right, now I've plugged my iPhone in, probably not the best thing to plug in, but um, I'll just, there we go. Now, I will say you can't do any pitch bending here, it's just an iPod dock, but you know when you want to play a bit of background music, or you want to use a bit of, uh, use it for backup, or if someone comes up to you at a party and hands you an iPod and you want to plug it in, yeah, we've got, uh, we can use, use this and plug it straight in. So I can select the tracks that I've got, I'm going to select that one, right. Selected that album, right? Scrolling through, and we'll select that song there, and it's it's on that middle channel there. Right, I can flick to the next track. Obviously not while it's playing. Next track. press the menu button, it's going to go back to my playlist, it's going to let me actually select the track there, and it's going to automatically play, very much like an iPod dock that you would find at home, um, but you know, it's built into this, you can't pitch bend, you can't scratch or anything, it literally is an iPod dock.